Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, I have not incorporated this into a specific chapter of the book or written that part yet. It will be definitely towards the end, or if there's one page summarizing the most important points and everything else before it can be thrown out, this would be absolutely on that one page or half page summary of everything that's most important. This reality has to be viewed from afar as a whole. The specific areas of investigation can't be figured out. Now, that's shocking to some people, but isn't that generally the message that I've been putting out here for roughly four years? Pick a topic of investigation. We'll just talk a little bit later as a basic example about the JFK assassination bot, like 40 million other YouTube channels. I'm going to talk about the JFK assassination a little bit. You want to give me a banner ad underneath, direct me to Britannica? Go ahead. Go ahead. Do that. I'm going to use that as an example. First grade truth, oh, we just get in there and dive into the research. We can have ultimately someday figure it out. The graduate PhD level truther, very rare, few of us in this world, in this level of investigation, have reached this conclusion. It can't be figured out. So whatever the topic of investigation is, the YouTube channels that you're watching, are they approaching it that this is just completely fascinating, Reality breakdowns abound. Look how this works. Look, Or are they trying to figure it out? If they're trying to figure it out, this is the way the reality works. It can't be figured out. It's first grade truth pursuit. It's a yellow soaked breadcrumb. Dipped in urine by who, Matt? The secret societies, right? No, by reality itself. Before going any further, diving into this topic, uh, just showing you the incredible reality concentric rings diagram that Wayne drew. Wayne, I don't know how he gets the level of detail into what he draws. Remember, Wayne drew the person standing in front of the ultimate not nilk machine with a million moving parts and all the details, all of this for us. Well, just one day, this shows up. Wayne has taken the original reality concentric rings diagram and turned it into into this. I haven't even poured over all the level of detail here. I'll try to zoom in to different parts. Matt, there there could be some de- demonic shit in there. Look, you no, I we trust. I trust Wayne. I I, <laughs> I I trust. There's nothing. There's nothing like out of the um, some cenobites or something coming out of here. I I trust Wayne. This is amazing. I haven't even poured over all the detail yet. I don't know how the concentric rings um, diagram will fit into this presentation as it unfolds. We'll do a whole one separately if we need to, based on uh, Wayne uh, bringing a, a new life to the concentric rings diagram as to how reality works gets faker as you go out from your heart-centered reality bubble. Thank you, Wayne. And as soon as I can show it to you, uh, Paul sent me another update or another um, cartoon of Norm, the bathroom rebel. Normy Norm, the bathroom rebel, who, who gets frustrated with Matt. Says, Matt, you conspiracy son of a beach he, from his bathtub. You know, we have more of that. I'll show you that as soon as I can. So thanks to both you guys. And finally, um, there's more detail in what I'm showing you here than anything I've ever shown you. But if you're driving, you don't need to see it. Again, I don't know how exactly this will be related. I'll try to relate it the best I can, but um, don't need to see anything. Uh, if you're on the road or something like that, just pay attention to the forklift. Make sure it doesn't go through the back of the old lady's windshield. So let's start. There aren't many first grade truthers here, as you know, but even maybe 5% to 10% here, they get upset with what I said. I've had people send me scathing emails. What do you mean, Matt? It can't be figured out or whatever I'm researching here. You're you're doing that cop-out approach again, Matt, telling people it can't be figured out. You're taking the lazy way out. No, uh, you can keep falling for it, same trick and think it can be figured out or, or go up in your hot air balloon, look down and see what the reality as a whole does. Throw a dart. You know, all the specific conspiracies our entire community has looked at, say, since 1963. Your wall's just covered in post-it notes. Here's the Loch Ness Monster over here, and Bigfoot, and aliens, and mud flood, and Tartaria, and this type of ghost, and this type of poltergeist, and the big 7-Eleven job application, and all this stuff. Name me one thing that has been completely figured out. Let me repeat that. Of the thousands of things our general quote community has looked at over many decades, tell me one thing that has been completely put to bed and figured out. Well, Matt, they know now that eight-second recording of Bigfoot was just a seven-foot-tall man in a brown shag carpet. Okay, maybe that video is debunked or whatever, but there's so much more 
regarding, say, Bigfoot. There's legend and lore all over. There's, it's related to the Yeti and the, the abominable snow monster. And there's a whole little segment, well, of the truth community. It's not millions of people. But I've heard truthers talk about Bigfoots being some sort of interdimensional being or something that can materialize. And they've done that sort of research. And when you do the research, the reality picks its head up and goes, ooh, this creator being is interested in this specific topic. So the reality starts to salivate, says, let's feed this poor devil a bunch of bullshit that'll keep him distracted for the rest of his natural life so he doesn't complete what he's supposed to do or she's supposed to do in life. Many of the old guard that kind of sleep in the first few rows here of the Amish classroom, you know, they heard what I said a few minutes ago and they they pick their head up and they're like, Matt, this isn't that exciting. We know reality plays a general trick. Wake me up. When you're going to talk about something, no, I'm telling this, what I'm saying pisses so many first grade truthers off. It incenses, is that a word? The first grade truther, they get so pissed. How dare you? They do a Greta to me. How dare you? How dare you say what I research and what I put so much time and effort in can't be figured out. Some sort of general reality trick. You're some sort of loon. And that's a conspiracy person calling another conspiracy person that. So that's pretty bad if I'm calling you that. They get so pissed. The pathetic little trolls that have nothing better to do but just listen to this channel and say, look, he's doing it again. It's just, you listen to Matt. He's just, he's just, he's a cop out channel. Tell you it can't be figured out. You get back in the bog, you poor devils. You, whatever your research topic is, Tartaria, mud flood, the mall events, the school events, the 7 Eleven job application, you can figure it out. Come on back into the bog. It's nice and warm. Come on back into the bog. It'll make you feel good. Is what I'm saying really so controversial? If you have thousands of conspiracy topics and then collectively over 20 years, millions of videos on those topics, and you just like put, let's put a scale here, like the old fashioned scale. One side will pile on all these conspiracy topics that have been completely figured out and put to bed, resolved. And uh oh, <laughs> there's nothing on that, there's nothing there. Well, Matt, the mall events and the school events. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk, yeah, that. Pay, threatened and paid. Threatened and... Somebody wants me to do for, around the holidays the Burl Ives Silver and Gold from Rudolph. Threatened and paid. We'll, we'll get to that. No, like almost nothing or nothing has been figured out. On the other side of the scale... Let's pile in all the topics and research topics and conspiracy where it's ongoing, where every time you jump back in, there's more to research, pulls you back into the bog, more things to look at, more videos, <laughs> more, more angles. That side of the scale is being smashed down where there's everything still ongoing. It's like cold case. There is nothing's ever closed in this police department. That side of the scale is so smashed down, like 4 million elephants are sitting on it. And the other side versus what's been resolved, nothing. If this truth research community was a police department or like a local sheriff's department, like Andy Griffith or whatever his name is and Barney Fife, or we should all be fired. We'd have old ladies, a hundred and some years old, in their rocking chairs, calling the department office phone, saying, "Do you? I I had that pack of cigarettes stolen in 1952. You said you'd look into it. You we're still investigating that, ma'am. There's a lot of different possibilities as to where your pack of cigarettes went. There's the aliens. There's the ghosts. There's the secret societies. <laughs> We'd still be investigating the stolen pack of cigarettes, letting alone all the other crimes that are unsolved." Fired, all of us, fired, unless you can say, wait a second, there's something really strange going on with reality itself. If I've been pursuing the criminals for five decades and we don't even have one case solved, not even an understanding of how one pack of cigarettes was stolen, well, maybe we should stop playing the game the way we've been playing it. But no, you'd have to be, you should just keep doing it over and over, decade after decade. You'd have to be a lunatic to come to that conclusion. Matt's a cop-out channel. Well, that's a brazen, bold prediction, boy, saying all the thousands of things and all the topics that we've spent all this time on and collectively millions and millions of men and women hours on can't be figured out. That's a bold statement, boy. You better be able to back that up. Uh, Back it up. Remember the scale? You have nothing figured out in thousands and thousands of, of collective video topics. You have nothing done. You have 
Oh, I'm sorry. You, you all the, the the mall and the school events you have figured out. I'm sorry. Threatened and paid. Threatened and paid. You have nothing. What I have is the same reality trick played over and over again with the same result. But yeah, I'm, you're right. I'm a lunatic. Well, Matt, you you talk the talk, but let's see if you can walk the walk. Nothing on my side of the scale. Forty million elephants on your side of the scale. What, let's just look. What's what's unresolved then? Give me give me one example that's un. What what's unresolved other than everything? What's how about the the ground you're standing on is even un, even the ground? What do you mean the ground I'm standing on is unresolved? When even that's unresolved, then you know it's a trick of reality itself. What you standing on? Splat turf? Flat? What, the ground you're standing on, the shape. There's this group over here that, oh, Matt, don't you know there's no evidence whatsoever that exists that says it's round? Oh, no, there's no evidence at all. Except scientists can use mathematical models to predict movements in the heavens out 4,000 years. But no, the, it all fits into the perfect math, but there's no evidence at all. Then, but then this group over here, there is it. They're, they're, they're right in their conclusions because that's what the reality is showing them. The splat, I, I'm not trying to be condescending to this group. I treat them as my brethren. Well, it doesn't sound like you're treating them as your brethren, Matt. They are my brethren. I have to say splat turf. I don't want a banner ad. Those that, there's a ton of evidence that demonstrates splat turf. Come off an airline, say, pilot, you have to push the stick down every 20 seconds because of the shape? No, I didn't have to push the stick down at all. There's a ton of evidence. Of course there is. But then there's a whole other group of researchers that says, no, no, it's neither. It's toroidal. No, it's hollow. Oh, when there is no agreement on the dirt that you're standing on, you're trying to ground yourself with your bare feet. When there's no agreement on the ground you're standing on, uh, I'm no genius. That's a slight giveaway that there's something going on with reality itself is a master trick. Am I, is anybody understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth? Matt. Surely you're not suggesting that the two decades more that I'm prepared to put into my mud flood and Tartaria research won't yield a final result and conclusion. You're not suggesting that. Of course I'm suggesting that. That's what I've been said 200 times so far in this video. That, the architecture, I myself, what, five years ago? How'd they build that shit? How'd they build this shit? It's very interesting to me. But kept getting in the hot air balloon. Back up. Look at it as as a whole. Back up some more. Look at the whole. Back up some more and some more. L look at the whole of what reality is doing. Nothing can be figured out. The bog calls for endless research. It doesn't matter if it's heavy and can be dropped on your foot, or if it's a Kit Kat dash, or if it's a mall event or a school event. All of it, in my opinion, is part of the general reality trick. There's a whole segment that will never accept that. Threatened and paid. Matt, here's the structure right in front of you. It's a gigantic megalith or a pyramid or, well, it's part of the reality trick. Somebody had to build that. Why? Why did somebody have to build it? Bill, if you can stay in the weeds your entire life. What I'm suggesting, as crazy as it is, every bit of evidence lines up on this side. No evidence. Zero. Squat. Squat lines up on the side that it can be figured out. But you're going to continue to call me a lunatic for making this sort of presentation. Matt, do you remember, say, the year or the month when you became so crazy? Maybe it was the exact same day you checked yourself into the insane asylum. Like people remember, they say, where were you during the big day in 2001? Where were you, older person, when JFK was shot? And people remember, I was walking out of the deli and I heard the news. Matt, do you remember the day you walked your path of insanity? I do, actually. Well, to some, it's the path of insanity. To others, it's a unique insight on how the general reality trick works. You have Robert Frost, the road less traveled, the road most traveled by the masses and the asses, and the road, the third leg of the stool is the road to the cuckoo's nest. That's what I'm presenting here to some, even in our own truth community. So it was roughly six years ago after the gambling town... Vegas, pause, event. Matt, why are you, this code doesn't work. The chat GPT knows exactly what you're talking about. I would think chat, I would think it's not only knows what I'm talking about, it's listening to me in real time, even before the upload. Chat GPT, I don't know, maybe it was reprogrammed or something programmed by its master to say, if he's dumb enough to use this stupid code, let him use it. We won't give him a banner ad. We'll just let him speak like little George. I don't know. 
Somehow I'm still here. I don't think the code's fooling the sophisticated AI, but we'll continue to use it because it's funny to some people. That I started to use the word reality breakdown after the Las Vegas event. And you know the event I'm talking about with supposedly there's a festival and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds got it. And you remember Mike? Remember? Oh, yeah, Mike. Remember Mike? Me and my buddy were uh, watching the concert, and, and my, my buddy here took <laughs> my buddy took three to the chest. Uh, th then we knew it was for real. <laughs> he didn't know it was for you. Didn't know it was for real before he took three inside of the little. He had a logo on his chest. I guess the Green Lantern. He took three inside the logo of the Green Lantern. He didn't know you didn't know it was for real when it came out of the window, and and uh, this whole crowd of people started to fall over. You didn't know it was for real then. You were just trying to concentrate on the concert. You only knew it was for real when your buddy took a three inside the Green Lantern logo on his t-shirt. Okay, the point is, after that, I started to use the word reality breakdown. And it wasn't just that and the Robbie Bibby Bibby. It wasn't just the 2012 event or the one in Florida. It wasn't the seven or eight majors. We had looked at 20 other things that just stunk, just woo, reeked of bullshit. Absolute bull, bad catastrophe, thespians laughing. and we, we looked at 20 or more, and there's people that would say there's, at this point, been hundreds. And I'm glad I used the word reality breakdown because for that, that event, in terms of the number that got winged, put it like that, was so large, some reports went over 500 that I said, wait, this just doesn't make any sense. Because one thing, we knew it was cake in a lake. 100%. There wasn't one image of this. There wasn't one video of that. It was catastrophe, thespians giggling and people being interviewed in front of pyramids and people walking out. I've shown you the guy walking out of the uh, hospital the next day. Is He's got a Band-Aid over his back and his wife's like, that's right, one on either side of the spine, but we're going home. I mean, there's so much. It was such bullshit, of course, that we just laughed. And so there's, but the number of the thousands of people that would had to have known or been, it starts, wait a second, this starts to break down. All right. At that point, I was looking more at these sorts of events. It was before I was really in the hot air balloon going up and up and looking down. And as you get higher and higher, you see that this reality presentation is really no, not much different than this one over here by Elon Musk or by NASA or whoever, which is really not that much different than the trick it's playing over here. And you say, wait a second, this is part of a, a master trick. It want, and, and then here comes Colonel Jessup. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. It wants you in those weeds. It needs you doing nothing more than focusing on the details of the mall event or the school event or the stuff that took place in the streets of London. and the, It wants you so close to it that you can't see the whole of the master ruse. I don't see any difference at this point at the fundamental nature of reality between a, a Mandela effect, a Kit Kat dash changing, a fluid reality, a gigantic pyramid in Giza, a mall event, a school event. It is all related to me as part of the same trick. And don't forget the premise of this presentation. It can't be figured out. It doesn't, that doesn't make sense to most people, even inside of our community that will hear this presentation. They just will never be able to grasp that. Always have to go in the toy box for the explanation. It has to be within the reality bookends. Well, Matt, what you just said, the Vegas, I'll use your own dumbass code of uh, uh, pause event or whatever. Well, okay, it's one or the other, Matt. Either you're wrong and it's real, or, or it, it's cake in a lake. If it's cake in a lake, then here, it would have to be explained. Well, here's, here's what the sheriff's department knows. Here's what the state police of Nevada know. Here's how you keep it quiet over here. Here's how you pay and threaten these people. Here's how you keep it quiet at the hospital. No, if you're going into the toy box for the same old explanations... There's parts of reality we won't understand, we'll never understand. The creeps have a basic understanding of it and have their hands on reality buttons and levers. It cannot be understood and figured out from our perspective how even something is just one little narrow band of what we've looked at over the past 15 years. The little tiny narrow band of, say, mall events, 
school events, and cake in a lake. Just that, with catastrophe thespians, just that cannot be figured out. Now combine that with thousands of other topics, thousands of other truth research topics or conspiracy topics, ranging from the hundreds and hundreds of, quote, space missions, with tens of thousands would have to be in on it, to uh, major wars, uh, both sides played, cooked up, one group of people on high, the aluminum Ducati motorcycles benefiting by each war they cook up, and all the tens of thousands for each event that have to be in on it. I just don't buy it, obviously. I'm not going to play that game anymore. Now, where we're going right here is the greatest argument of all time for my friend Tony, and it is an incredibly strong argument. He would say, so Matt, this presentation of history, like what really happened in the Civil War or Gettysburg, you don't believe this part of it, you don't believe that part of it, you don't, no, I don't believe, okay, so they cooked up that history and all this other history they cooked up, right, Matt? Yes, Tony, it's all cooked up. And then these mall events over here, these school events, you believe in them? No. So this is a fit cake in a lake, fake. Yep, and so that's pulled off. Yep, that's pulled off. Yep, that's fake. Yep, pulled off, pulled off, pulled off. Yep, 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 yep. So then Tony goes, okay, what else? So let's go into a sp- what Elon Musk is planning. Matt, and what NASA's been doing since 1961 with the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. You don't buy all that either, do you, Matt? No, I don't buy all that either, Tony. It, that is, it would be insane to them, but overall, it's, it is insane. Like, well, it's, it's just as insane then to dig in and say, okay, now we're up to, just in what I just talked about, and there's a thousand other topics, we're up to about four million people that would need to be involved and in on it and pulled off to perfection It's not possible, folks. It's pointless to examine the details of any facet of research inside the truth community or any specific event. That's exactly what the Not Nilk, the Asshole Dark, the Plumber's Ass Crack, the Screen wants us doing. Because if you're close to it, you cannot see the whole of what's going on here. Any specific research topic is pointless to dive into if that is your sole focus of research, let alone any individual event. Only the whole of it can be, an, can be examined. There is no answer inside the toy box. There is no answer inside the reality bookends. It cannot be figured out. The only thing we can do is see the whole or the one sentence as to what's going on here. A gigantic trick is being facilitated at the fundamental level of reality itself by something very dark to hide a spiritual being from understanding itself and what it's supposed to do in this reality. When you dive into any research topic or individual event, you remove yourself from what you're supposed to be doing with this existence. It's that simple. So if two people are standing, say, in front of a megalith site, the Great Pyramid, you don't like that one, the Cathedral of Cologne, there's hundreds of others to choose from where donkeys, burrows, jackasses, and mules shouldn't have been able to get it done with a few ropes, okay? We, we've been over this, all right? I'm standing in front of one of these megalith sites, let's just say the Great Pyramid, and somebody else. There's only maybe two out of ten, even our, in our own community, that would accept if this, well, Matt, we're standing right in front of the thing. It's there. Obviously, somebody put it there. Why? Obviously, somebody built it. Why? Who built the sun? Well, we don't know where those incredible celestial bodies come from, Matt. We don't certainly don't buy the Big Wang anymore and that, those theories, and we don't buy Darwin's Monkey Man. We, so we don't know that, but because that thing is right there and that thing's up in the... The one up in the sky, it's okay to say where well, we don't know where that came from, but the one right in front of us, there must be an explanation. Why? Why? And only eight, two out of ten may be big enough thinkers. The, the two or three or four rows here sleeping in the front of the Amish classroom, the old guard that doesn't want to be woken up and disturbed or whatever, they would, they would, big enough thinkers, there's a lot of big thinkers here. But even in our own truth research community, roughly eight out of ten would never accept what I'm saying. You a lunatic. You making us look bad, Matt. We're standing right in front of the thing. Obviously, somebody put it here. Why? Why does it have to be that somebody put it here? Why couldn't this be part of reality? Where did the air come from? Where did the reality game board come from? Where did the seas come from? Where did the land come from? What's the difference? Just because it looks like a structure. It doesn't, what, from me, if you back up far enough and look down, what's the difference? It's small. I might be wrong, 
But it's it's small thinking to say somebody had to have built it just because we're standing in front of it. Well, let's go go to the beach and stand in front of the the ocean. Who built that? Well, Matt, that gets into things like God or whatever. That's it's okay for that to be inexplainable. What's the difference? When you there is no difference. Other one appears to be a structure that history tells us that was built or whatever. And you again, you don't like the pyramid? Use there's hundreds of other megalithic sites if you don't like that one where there should be just no business for the people building it you know i like these conversations because it's not just about most of the truth community will get into the x's and o's and the pulleys and the levers and matt you don't realize you with a long piece of wood and the lever you can move blocks you know i'm structuring my argument in a different way whenever we talk about that it's not just about can a block be moved or not it's about, well, what's going on in the society? Aren't there wars to wage? Aren't they constantly worrying about survival? What do they do when they wake up in the morning? Isn't it about just getting water and making sure they put food on the table? Where does all this excess resources and capacity come from to build these megalithic structures all over the world? And it takes, they say it takes hundreds of years. It all breaks down when you look at the details. Okay, people argue with me about the cathedral at Cologne, and now see how right now I'm getting into the weeds, missing the general point of this presentation. Let's just do another minute or so. The cathedral at Cologne, some people say, slowly built, Matt, over 650 years. I mean, okay, but the, w- weren't they constantly at war? Isn't that the history we're told? Any excess resource would go to food or making a, a new shelter to survive the winter. Like, there's no excess capacity in these societies to build these megalithic structures. And if the cathedral at Cologne was the only one, then okay, it's an exception. There's hundreds of them, hundreds when it's no way it should have been able to be done with ropes and jack- jackasses and mules and donkeys and burrows and pickaxes, there's no excess capacity in the society, a society that's concerned with survival. Okay, that's just one reason. Whenever you, these other YouTube channels, they don't go there, do they? Well, let me show you how a lever can move a block. It's not just about a lever moving a block. Okay, for the final five or 10 minutes of this presentation, we'll use just one topic, the JFK assassination, the father of all conspiracies to demonstrate the reality's general trick and how people get sucked in the multiple, and we haven't even talked about this, it sucks you in multiple layers and levels. So just when you think, it's very similar to the graduated animal farm, but just you think you're getting the real truth here, sometime five or 10 years later, they discover there's a whole nother, nother level that they haven't even gotten to. Just another um, embedded layer into the weeds. That's what reality does. And we'll demonstrate it here in this JFK. And by the way, bot, um, there's been, what, millions of videos about the JFK assassination? Actually, per the research of Vincent, so is his name, Vincent Salandria, who passed, one of the original Kennedy conspiracy researchers, he noted that it was seemingly like the Warren Commission was trying to create conspiracy. That's exactly right. The Warren Commission, on behalf of the dark reality itself, was trying to create conspiracy, because that's how the minions serve the dark reality. Of course it's trying to create conspiracy. It's a conspiracy generation machine. But Vincent Salandria got wind of this uh, well, roughly 30-some years before we were, we were still crapping in our pants as truthers, and he was starting to figure a little bit of it out. So here's an article right in front of me. It's from 2013. It was at NPR. 50 years after assassination, Kennedy books offer new analysis. Come on. 50 years after assassination. See how reality just keeps it going. 50 years after assassination, new Kennedy books offer a new sort of analysis. Oh, sure. Come on. Can see your ruse, sir. Your cunning attempt to trick us. How could it, no man and women could keep this going decade after decade? It's, it's a supernatural means. It's reality itself. How many books have been written about it? Thousands and thousands of books. Thousands just centered on the Castro aspect or the, or, or the whodunit or the mob or the military industrial complex. But then 50 years later, there's new analysis. Come on. Come on, sir. This is a joke. This, but one thing here gives all of reality away. So I took a few minutes and I wrote out all the layers that reality presents regarding, say, the mystery around the JFK assassination. And it came out to nine. I don't play games with numbers. I don't deliver codes. If you're thinking along those lines, you're smacked ass. Please leave the channel. 
just happened to come out to nine. Okay. It might have come out to 33. That happens. If it would have been 13, people would have read into that. If it would have been 11, people would have read into that. What number is okay? From, okay, sorry, Matt, you're a little sensitive. Yeah, please, the people that analyze my sweatshirt, can they leave this channel? Okay, here's the base level of reality as it makes its presentation. No real world could pull all this off. No real world could do this. That's kind of the underlying point here I forgot to mention, but maybe you've been here a few months and you heard me say that a few thousand times. Number nine, moving down to number one. Oswald did it. Oswald was the lone shooter. All the bit of news from Dan Rather all back, it's all real. About 60 to 70% fully believe this today, okay? Or mostly believe it. They don't know, maybe Oswald got a little help, but they mostly believe the Oswald story. About 70% of the Western population, okay? Might be a little bit less. Like my father, Oswald, lone gunman, everything Dan Rather presented on the news in the weeks following November 1963 believes every bit of it and nothing's changed. All right, that's what it presents to most people. Now you get into the conspiracy and all the different layers that reality is able to present. Matt, don't you know what the secret societies can do? Come on, tired of that. Sorry. Number eight, Oswald was a patsy. Other groups from what we call the police lineup, you know, all these other groups that parade themselves up that that reality wants us to point out, they actually uh, killed Kennedy. Okay, other group, you know, with the Castro and Cuba because of Bay of Pigs, military industrial complex because JFK wants us to get the United States out of Vietnam. The bankers did because he was going on at the Fed. All the mob because of RFK, all the different groups in the police lineup. And that Oswald was a patsy. Okay, probably 25% of the population believes this. So we already counted for roughly 95% of everybody. Billions of people believe just these two things. Now, reality can, for those that will push more, reality has many layers and many different minefields for those people to get caught up in. Down to number seven, the U.S. government, the CIA is responsible. It's not just the cast of characters like Castro, the U.S. government. And you know that picture? Oh, that's, oh, look, listen, look at these ridiculous breadcrumbs that left us over the years. There's that picture of George, that picture of that guy standing against that door, that wall mat. That is George H.W. Bush. Oh, sure. It might be. But if it, it might be, then that reality wants that presentation. And Matt, well, Matt, what do you mean this reality? If, if it was the CIA, or it was groups, or groups of minions, or even certain secret societies, that is not the end in and of itself. That is not the bad guy in and of itself. We talk about the general population being on a download. Well, the minions also, in my opinion, are on some sort of download, serving the the maestro, serving the dark reality and what it wants. It, doesn't, it needs to work through its, its groups, of course. Those groups, in, in most cases, in my opinion, don't even understand what they're serving. So if I say not milk, that doesn't mean there's never a secret society involved. That doesn't mean there's never a bad actor. Okay, yeah, okay. So now we're down to um, something that but maybe 4%, okay? So what would that equate to out of the entire West or anybody around the world that's looked into it? Um, you know, roughly 50 million people, All right? So remember, number nine is just basically Oswald. 70% of the entire population, maybe 60. Okay, Oswald was a patsy for other bad actors. Okay, there we have roughly 25 to 35% of the world believing. Then it's narrowing down. The U.S. government was involved and no one else. 4%, okay, 50 million people. Then the next la layer down was, how do, you even, how do I even talk about this? Um, what happens at the ninth layer of level of Metroid? Nothing, absolutely nothing. What happened, Dealey Plaza? Nothing. Well, what do you mean? No, nothing. You know what? You know what? A cake in a cake in a lake. Well, where is it? I don't know. Maybe on David Bowie Island. Okay. Now, how many people believe this? Obviously, I'd sit here far less than 1%. I mean, way less than 1% would believe that. But I don't know any other way. Maybe a few hundred thousand people worldwide if they looked at it. But I know it's not even that. I know that's way too high to say nothing. But I'm trying to whittle down here. Number five, there is no answer to be found out there ever, ever, when what is being examined comes from, say, a part of reality that is intentionally trying to create conspiracy. This is generally what we've been talking about in this presentation. All part of a kind of a general trick 
If we put in enough time and effort, we can figure it out. The, number five, if you get to this level, is saying there is never an answer to be found out there ever when what is being examined comes from a part of reality that is intentionally trying to create conspiracy. The main point of this presentation, how to, trying to figure this out, Tartari, whatever, cannot be figured out, just part of a general trick. We're still four steps away from ultimate truth. Number four, there are no answers about self, all self, understanding who we are. Somebody that reaches level four says there's never answers about self out there in general from any expert, from any textbook, from any authority. Okay, I know this. Okay, we get into the Bible and certain religious beliefs. This is just the way I wrote it up. I, I hear you. Okay, in the, but let's just say in the examination of anything considered a reality presentation or conspiracy. Okay, no answer is ever out there that tells us about self. Now we're f trying to focus back on ourselves, which is where we should be, instead of being pulled into the weeds. And you can figure it out, Matt, Tartaria, just put in another 10 years. Come on back into my weeds. It'll make you feel good. Basically, you get to level four. This is a false world. No real world could do this. A false world of may Maya that lays down some sort of bait. Here, like the Kennedy to Lincoln synchronicities we see are impossible in a real world. I don't believe in one in a hundred billion coincidences. I, I really don't. When it gets over even one in a hundred million, I say, well, I don't buy it could be pulled off between the bookends or per the toy box. I think the world itself is somehow accomplishing this. The world itself or the dark realities is somehow accomplishing this conspiracy in some ways with mechanisms or some certain type of... Uh, technologies or techniques or a spell that we don't understand. So how many people get to this level? Only a handful of people like us. And I hear you scream, well, Matt, what makes you think this is right? All right, we'll address that some other time. Just go with it for now. We still have three steps left. Three, this is an entire reality trying to block me from something I'm supposed to do in life. So the, the hot air balloon is going up and up and up, seeing the greater whole. Now we're at, this is an entire reality or at least that it, as it's been hijacked, or the asshole dark, trying to block me from what I'm supposed to do in life and in my existence. If you reach level three, let's go back up to level eight. Oswald was a patsy. Does any of that matter? You see how what a joke the upper levels are? Even number six, uh, what happened? Metro, ninth level of Metroid in Daily Plaza, what happened? Nothing. Squat. Even that... It seems so dramatic if we, you can get to that level. Oh my gosh, nothing happened. That's, ir that's ir that not Nilk loves you at level six because you're not even close to where you need to be. So we, where are we even? This is an number three, this is an entire reality trying to block me. Number two, I see the overall master trick being laid down in this reality experience. And I understand the difference between my true nature and what I'm supposed to do here from number three, and I see my adversary. I see that there's something here playing a role that's trying to block me. This, in the entire world, you could call it a spiritual battle. We don't, I don't love the words, but it is decently presented. It's an apt term. Number one, I'm going to block out every bit of this bullshit, not chase anything, and I'm simply going to do the self-work day-to-day, hour-by-hour, that the whole of me needs from this life and this incarnation. This, the, the part of me that's here, the part that's not here, I'm going to do what the, this all, and use all the tools that this life and this reality affords for the whole of me. Now you get to this level, you see how the examination of any conspiracy, even if it could be figured out, becomes completely irrelevant. Any sort of examination outside of self, when you get to this level, is 100% pointless. I believe it's our goal to get down to this level. We're getting close. So what chance does your Aunt Ginny have, or the guy down the cul-de-sac, or my friend Tony, what chance do these people have if they're not, they're above where I started. They're at their own level 10. We started at 9 and worked down to 1. They don't even see that there's a trick here. 
I mean, this whole process and the steps is overcoming it and then not going back in the weeds and seeing it's about self, the personal, what about yourself, what about yourself journey and getting to number one. It's the self work can only be done properly if you see the nature of the trick and the adversary, in my opinion, maybe the self work can be done without having to see through the trick. Maybe that's just my route into truth, but I, I think they go hand in hand. But your friend uh, down the street or whatever, they don't even think there's a trick being played here. Matt, the news is accurate. What, what are you talking about? A trick of some kind? These people, they're not even in our list trying to get to number one. They think what we're doing is completely a waste of time. They're outside our list even. What trick? Matt, to figure out how the world works, just put on CNN for a few hours a day. Oh, boy, why didn't I think of that? Um, but See, that's what chance do they have? The only thing that kind of reconciles this or explains it, I can hear Tony speaking to me, but the Tony that gave me the very good information that communed with his higher self. I mean, it, it is, people said, what a coincidence that both the person at one end of the spectrum that has the most information, the person at the other that's the most fooled, at least in your immediate circle of friends, both named Tony. And of course, everybody has to read into everything and everybody has to read into the sweatshirt. Matt, that's, that's, that's some kind of code. That's the same person. It's not the same person. Is Tony kind of a common name? Did I say the name was Iphigenia? Iphigenia at Aulis? It, it's to Anthony. Okay, that's, that's somewhat, somewhat common. So it's not the same person. But, but this sort of thing happens all the time. What a coincidence that this, this polarity presentation on either ends of the spectrum, this happens to me all the time in certain ways I can't even talk about. I mean, it's, it's, it's really strange, but this happens a lot. In other words, it doesn't surprise me that they're both named Tony. But I can hear the one Tony calling out and saying, Matt... The higher self has multiple, this is what he, he says, the higher self has multiple incarnate, oh God, phone call from Dead Poet Society. Matt, it's God calling. He says we should have girls at Weldon. No, um, you, I don't know if you heard that, you could hear the ringing in the background. Um, Tony would, he might say, the higher self has many different incarnations. Uh, he would call you higher than, you're higher than Melvin P. He calls us simultaneous incarnations, those that investigate what we do here that pretty surely not NPCs or organic portals. So the higher self has different incarnations for different reasons. It might have put spiritual dummies into certain earth reality systems. And, and so in other words, Tony, even as a spiritual dummy and saying, Matt, there is no conspiracy and you should just watch CNN if you want to find out what's going on. All, those people, I think Tony may say, in a way they can still serve their higher self because that's what their incarnation was intended to be. We're doing, hopefully, what we're intended to do. Some would actually say we might have even breaking the, broke, break the mold, breaking the mold, breaking the mold, breaking the mold on what we're supposed to be doing. Some people would say, and I've pondered this myself, the higher self is saying, this, Matt is, he's not supposed to be doing this. We have an incarnation here on earth in the year 2023 that's gotten out of line He's trying to break the game, that conspiracy son of a beach. He's not even doing what we want. We might be rogues, potentially, even from our higher self perspective. But we, you know, we're not going to change where we're going at this point. We can break the game, break it, whatever. I, am only, I can assume that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But again, if I'm saying these people are so kind of, oh, they're really in trouble because they don't even see the trick... You know, somebody like Tony could come along and say, well, that they're playing the role of dummy, which is what they're actually, the higher self actually wanted from them in this incarnation. I know that I don't want to accept that. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does make sense to a degree as well. I would want to think that we're not serving our higher self the same as a dummy that's fooled by watching CNN. And we're both doing equal things. We want to think what we're doing is exceptional and rare and unique. And it may be, of course, and this just should be left on the table that the people around us that just don't even see one aspect, one tiny little part of the trick, they're not necessarily doomed. Okay, this is a, a better way of, of thinking about it or going about it. And others would say, well, they have other lifetimes. They'll, they'll figure it out eventually. It's a young soul. To you, what you call Tony Matt might not understand anything for 10,000 more years. There's people that have that belief set. Everybody that needs to get to where the ultimate, most of the smartest people I've ever conversed with or exchanged emails with generally agree that it might take certain people a long time, but if they are part 
of the uh, original essence of this of this uh, reality or universe or, or source creation, they're eventually Matt going to get where they need to be. There's no stopping it. There's no ultimate. There is no Pope's abyss. There is no ultimately damning it or dooming it with no consequences. People yell at me. There is no completely giving away of the soul tokens, and I generally agree with that at this point. You know, who knows what they'll have to do or, or go through. We might be fast tracking now. Where who knows what Tony will do in his next life, and even in he get could get caught up in some sort of false paradise after death, and realize that's not where he's supposed to be. And there, all of this is on the table. I like to think of it more like we, we are taking advantage of this hardcore experience, and if we can fast track something from ourselves or for ourselves, let's let it not go to waste. I think most of us would agree with that. That we're not on completely equal terms with somebody that just says, watch CNN if you want to find out how things work in the world. Most of us, we wouldn't be sacrificing what we are and going through and going through and going through everything we're going through. We've lost relationships. We've lost jobs. If there wasn't a benefit of some kind, some sort of fast tracking that we're accomplishing here. And my list or the list of starting with the uh, Lee Harvey Oswald going down through any conspiracy, ultimately getting to the points at the bottom where the, the the details of the conspiracy above, starting at step nine, eight, seven, six, it doesn't even matter. Once you get towards the bottom, you see how absurd the examination of the details and the specific event itself was. But the, I, I could keep going further with a longer list. The, the list stops because this is what the, the, the self-work is the best we can do in this body while we're here in this snow globe. I, of course, we could keep going where there's ideas that, Matt, we have to realize we, we're all one. We all came from original source. The list could keep going where Tony would come back in and say, you know, we are, you and Melvin P are actually, you're different incarnations. He's low, he's lower. He has more work to do. He's not taking the leap that you are. He's playing it safe. He's a big, ugly fish in a, in a small pond. But ultimately, you all come from original source creation. Ultimately, you're all one. And, you know, that the ultimate truth you know, is that, uh, you know, it, it, we are obviously, and it, it, from a common sense perspective, it makes sense that we all came from your God or original source or whatever, but that, that's, you know, what fun is that? I mean, just do, you want, anybody want this channel to just be the message for the day as it is yesterday and will be tomorrow? One sentence, <laughs> we are all one and love your Melvin P. neighbor. <laughs> Give that extra hot penny to Larry Silverfish. That's no fun. Uh, that is no fun. You know, okay, well, maybe ultimately we are one, but we're fast-tracking. Melvin P., he's talk about being in a loop. The, those minions, they could be stuck here. They, who, who wants to get a sex act on the back of a speedboat for 10,000 lifetimes in a row? We're fast-tracking. Get the hell out of here. Okay, maybe ultimately we are one, but the role here is to be the individual. This is in, to, be embra to embrace the individual. That's what we are now. Who knows how long we will be that. So enjoy that aspect. Use that aspect. We are low here in this place, as we've been talking about. Don't become uh, addicted to per pervert, 10,000 perversions, but in a way, embrace the low and understand it's all part of this experience, all part of doing the work per the, per the bottom. I don't think the self-work can be performed properly unless you go through all the steps. If you're completely fooled and there is no trick at all, Matt, there is no conspiracy, then how can you ever get to the bottom and do the self-work? If I talk to Tony about doing self-work daily that benefits the whole and aspects of us that aren't even here, he would try to book, 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 book us into the room. He would book me into an insane asylum. He would try to pose as my brother, my long-lost brother, and try to book me in an insane asylum. I can't, we can't talk to people about this shit. Once again... It's the best news of all time. Stop the woe is me and woe is life emails to Matt. Oh, here you go again. Here he goes again, Matt, with the best news of all time. Well, I like to believe that too, Matt, but prove it. D prove it? What have we been doing for 14 years? Didn't I just prove it? What, McGandries. <laughs> Didn't I, what, what, you, what more can be? Wait, this is so obvious what's going on here because you can see why it's playing the trick. It reality is giving itself away. Didn't I just prove it? I mean, what do you? It's the best news of all time. 
what we understand about what this reality system is for, it's better than winning the lotto 10 times in a row. And then the last time you win the lotto, it comes with a giant magenta speedboat on the back. It, there's a big font on the back. These magenta speedboats called the Atheist. You can roam that around the back bays of Ocean City, New Jersey, flexing your muscles in the mirror. Guys, I, little, there was a, I told you about the cigarette boat called the Wet Dream. I think he had a giant mirror up front. I'm not joking. That This is the best news of all time. Your truth work should be about seeing that and not stop investigating the mall events and the bang events. That's stupid bullshit. Thanks for listening.